I'm here in Chile with the Arctic Sunrise. We've just come back from almost two months at sea. We've been building support for ocean sanctuaries. This is really important because, as you know, our oceans are in real trouble. And ocean sanctuaries are the best tool that we have to rebuild depleted populations, to protect ocean biodiversity, and to give our oceans the resiliency they need, to give them a fighting chance to survive things like climate change, ocean acidification, industrial fishing, and plastic pollution. We started in Antarctica, and it was amazing. We uh, have been using this submarine, which you can't quite see from here, uh, but it's a two-person submarine. It goes down to 2,000 feet. And we were working with an amazing team of scientists to survey the seafloor in places where no one has ever been before. We went, we think, farther south than any other research subdive in history. And what we found was really surprising. In areas where they'd almost always been covered by ice, uh, in places where the sun has literally never penetrated, we found areas completely covered with all kinds of diverse marine creatures. Uh, starfish, corals, sponges, all kinds of weirder marine biology stuff, uh, tuna kits. Um, it, was, it was really something, very diverse. If you didn't know better, you'd think it was a tropical coral reef. And the reason that we were there, obviously to build support for ocean sanctuaries, but specifically this year is an incredible opportunity. The United Nations is negotiating a global ocean treaty. And if we get that right, it's going to enable us to scale up sanctuaries for the first time. Right now we have maybe 2% of the world's oceans protected, and we need to get to 30% by 2030 and build from there. And if we get this treaty right, it's going to enable us to do that. At the same time, the commission in charge of protecting Antarctic waters is considering two proposals that would create the largest ocean sanctuaries in the world. So these dives, the work that we've been doing in Antarctica, will help strengthen these proposals and build support and hopefully we'll be able to get them done this year. One of the amazing things about Antarctic waters is that we can also get them protected directly without some big political process if we're able to show that there are the kinds of species that indicate a vulnerable marine ecosystem. And in our 12 research dives, I would say 11 of them, we have a pretty decent case of getting them designated as vulnerable marine ecosystems. And that means they're protected pretty much automatically. So it's amazing, powerful stuff. From Antarctica, we went straight out to Argentina's Blue Hole. And this is an area 200 miles or more offshore uh, it's a biodiversity hotspot, but unfortunately, there's no regulation whatsoever out there, and so it's become also a hotspot of human rights abuses, of labor violations, uh, even murder at sea, as well as pirate fishing and enormous destruction of, of uh, seafloor habitats. So we brought the Arctic Sunrise and this incredible team with the submarine to see if we could document these seafloor habitats and show people what's at stake. Unfortunately, the weather did not really cooperate. We had currents, we had winds, we had waves. Uh, we actually weren't able to get in any diving at all. We still did some important work, but it really just showed how difficult it is to do the kinds of work that we do at Greenpeace. And I think this is really important because we call it Earth, but it's the water planet. It's really not realistic to have to document these special places and show why this is so special that it deserves, deserves to be protected. The default needs to be, look, this is the ocean, it's important for our survival, we need to protect it. Maybe we allow some fishing in some areas in some ways, but they have to make the case. Not we have to go and bring ships and submarines somewhere and then prove that this is special enough to think about protecting it. We need to flip that around. So that's why we're here. That's what we've been doing. I'm feeling really good about our chances to get a strong global ocean treaty. We're going to keep fighting. We need your help. Uh, so stay with us and uh, we'll see what we can do this summer.